Gunung Padang is a megalithic pyramid located in West Java, Indonesia. It is causing ripples amongst historians and archaeologists because investigations at the site reveal hidden chambers as deep as 90 feet in the structure, with shafts and evidence of fragments of columnar basalt, which have been radiocarbon dated to be as far back as 25,000 BCE or earlier. This will make the structure not only the largest in Southeast Asia, but the oldest megalithic structure in the entire world. Dr. Natawajaja stated that, this was not at all what my colleagues in the world of archaeology expected or wanted to hear. The problem is that those dates from 9600 BCE and earlier belong to the period that archaeologists call the Upper Paleolithic, and take us back deep into the last ice age when Indonesia was not a series of islands as it is today but was part of a vast Southeast Asian continent dubbed Sundaland by geologists. And it is also known as the ancient land of Mu. Churchward searched the data of ancient book, including, Maya's Paris Codex, Cordesianus Codex, Dresden Codex and Troano Manuscript, Indian Epic of Lamayana, Egyptian Book of the Death and Tibetan Lhasa Record. Then he wrote, The Lost Continent of Mu, after 50 years to introduce the land of Mu, which lost it 12,000 years ago. The book was attracted attention by common people. Churchward understood the existence of ancient land of Mu in view of the Nikal tablets. Here is Churchward's description of Mu. Long long ago, there was a great civilized empire of the sun in the land of Mu, the motherland of man, in the Pacific Ocean. The empire ruled the earth, had possession of huge temple and seven beautiful cities. Their people lived with free and unrestrained under the shiny sun. The emperor named, Le Mu, and, La, means the sun, Mu, means the mother. The civilization of Mu dates back more than 50,000 years ago. And the Mu people is also known as Lemurian. According to Churchward's research, Gunung Padang is part of the Mu Empire. In order to absorb the sacred light energy of Lemuria and spread it around the globe, some of us, the Yosoi family members, visited Gunung Padang and performed the sacred ceremony and activation. Now we're ready to bring the Lemurian light to the world. In this video, we'll show you all the important information we've gathered during our visit. Lucia will be your host translating the content from the local tour guide. Here are some pictures of the entrance of the Pyramid Gunung Padang. We arrived in the evening on July 3, 2023, for the super full moon. Right next to the entrance, there is a sacred water pit. Under the powerful moonlight, Rhea, our energy healer and median, used the water to help us cleasing and get ready for the energy work the next day. On the Sirius Gate, July 4, 2023, when we arrived at the foot of the pyramid, we were faced with two massive climb up to the top level of the temple, but they are well-made steps all the way. On the left is the steep one with 170 steps, and on the right might be a better choice with 370 steps, although it has more steps, but it's easier to climb up. After much huffing and puffing we reached the top, and the terraces and different areas are very clear to see. This was, without doubt, some sort of gathering area, and very reminiscent of the ziggurats of Babylon. We didn't need to be an archaeologist to see this was an ancient site which must have been used as some sort of temple or area of worship. And along the way up, we can see that it is covered with massive hexagonal stone columns of volcanic origin. The Sundanese people consider the site sacred and believe it was the result of King Silawangi's attempt to build a palace in one night. Gunung Padang consists of a series of five artificial terraces, one rectangular and four trapezoidal. These terraces also become successively smaller with elevation with the first terrace as the lowest and largest and the fifth terrace as the highest and smallest. This is a locked stone. It's supposed to be with other stone, you know, when you when you rebuild a structure, you need a lock, right? So it doesn't move. And this part used to be another stone shaped like this to lock. It's this part of the lock. So they make a double, which is very tight, soft and no um, sharp end. So this is for the structure. The Pentagon is for the structure. This is men here. Men here. Men here. Men here. Men. This is fences. Fences shape. They they put the, the stone and they beat it uh, down up to thirty centimeter each. So all the fences around is thirty cent for you know the the staircase, the edges. They're all set thirty centimeter depth. Okay. Kalau yang, kan ada yang udah mengeras nih, 
kayak pasir ini nah yang dibawa ke prorida itu jenisnya gini semen purbanya kayak gini kayak it's like sand but it's at uh, like sealant to seal each one one stone to the other look at this in here see they put it inside they brought it to florida laboratory and they, it's, it says it's um 11 at least 11,000 years old so that tree over there is one um, yeah. the sap create uh, essence for incense that tree is 3,000 years old and this one the flowers we are in the first terrace of the pyramid Padang. this is we are under the tree this is the area for preparing offering right so we have three entrances first terrace there's one entrance over there that we can show you later the singing rock the middle one right here you can see see the the fences up like five step fences that's directly to the center and there's another entrance from the side right there and these two rocks over here is designed to point two twin volcano in front it's called the day and kangrango volcano so all limit face north okay to be continued they call this dakon the dakon is man-made shape to lock something else because they all meet like puzzle so that if you see mm -hmm. this you see that you know the, this is not based not because of rainfall or water dripping this is all puzzle like they, they all meet at the end mm -hmm. warna warnanya udah ini tapi nggak muncul tuh ada Tapi anda sih, anda harus nada. Oh, oh, yes. Finger from here, right? Ini ni ni dong. Can you feel the difference? This is the sea. This is a shape of kujang. Kujang is a knife, a local knife. They they use it as a symbolical uh, knife until now. Until now, it's a knife shape. Mm. So this area got the knife from back then. You know, back in the days, two thousand twenty-six thousand years ago. <laughs> this is the three thousand years old tree. very calm very subtle and they use the sub see yeah this is the sub from the tree that created like incense is the uh, see the smoke it smell the smell is used for uh, hushing the darkness see they use it in Vatican. It's like the basic incense based on sub. Oh! <gasps> La. Such a big one! Yeti. Yeti footmark. Wow! Ada beberapa? There are a few. This is the cross, the rock with the cross. To make 
line to work there and to work there but they have also this is the limit like something limiting in here so from terrace 2 this is number 3 oh so that's a border yeah it's a border like a, a, a limit so mm. they, they predicted that the chosen one can go up there mm. the commoner stay here stay back Well, that's the sunrise, and this is where the tiger well, is supposed to sit. Up. Well, yeah, to me. It used to be a, a, a pole over there, but look at this nine uh, depth here. They say that our senses is actually nine senses, mm. not five. It's like tiger uh, paws. Yeah. Facing the sunrise. Kalinding. 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 We write it down. This is a different kind of rock. It's a weight 70 kilo okay. somebody can hold it twist it down and lift it it's you can lift that it's actually not not uh, uh, deep, deep inside it's not it's weight 70 kilo and you can see the color difference between that rock and this rock this is a solid mountain rock this is uh, they say this volcanic right so it's called Batu Kanuragaan. Kanuragaan. Mm, because everybody who, in the old days, people try to lift it and it leaves some salt from the hand, from the sweat. So they don't allow it anymore because it's going to thinning uh, that the surface of the rock. You see this? All around the fences. So you enter from here, you fry this. Used to be used to be big tree over here. Now the last terrace is 
the thing is the king's terrace. You know? If it's a kingdom, then this is the the throne, the throne mm -hmm. uh, state, you know, terrace. Mm -hmm. The last thing. This is the throne. Ada ke sana. Tapi kalau batu penyenderan mah pelintasan rasi, rasi bintang yang belakang batu senderan. Kalau ini tinggal sana, jadi untuk hitungan hari atau perintasan rasi, astronomi. This is how the the king will look at, look up and see the the hemisphere line, so they can determine astrology, astronomy, astrology by leaning, by watching. But over there is the special rock, really for the expert to. To watch the the constellation. Gunning Padang appears in every way to be a man-made artifact of huge proportions, and if so, it predates everything we have uncovered so far by at least ten thousand years. No wonder the general archaeological community and academics are dismissing Dr. Natawajaj's evidence. The pyramid at Gunning Padang could be evidence of an advanced civilization that predates any currently known to the world. The deepest layer appears to have been constructed over millennia, with the oldest sections from as far back as 25,000 BCE. If the carbon dating on this deepest section is correct, then Gunung Padang didn't just beat the pyramids, it clocks in ahead of the first recognized civilization in Mesopotamia, showing evidence of a settled society 12,000 years before the agricultural revolution. The local people told me how proud they were, Sundayland may be home to the earliest advanced civilization. Hope this video find you much love and joy. After the Lemurian light activation we did on Sirius Gate, we saw a orange to red radiant light ball pulsating in the sky that night. What a beautiful confirmation. If you feel the call to join us spread the Lemurian light around the globe, please do check the description box below on how to contact us. We welcome you to the land of Mew.